Welcome to the session. Today we are going to cover how to run basic Node.js server on Docker image and can access the API from a browser. We can refer the Nodages site which explains how to create the Docker image and run the Node server inside it. URL mentioned below in the description. We can use VS Code for writing the code and execute the commands in its terminal. First create a folder where you want to place all your codes. I have already created a folder and open the VS Code in that folder. Now let's go to the node site and create the files one by one. First we can create the package.json file. Now copy the package.json file content also from the site. Open the terminal and make sure you are standing at the same folder where the package.json file is present. Let's run node install command and this will install all the required node modules into the project. This will install express which is mentioned in our package.json file. Let's create the server.js file which will create an instance of express and runs the server on 8080 port. Copy the server.js file content also to the file. Let's run the server.js file using node command. You can see the application started running on the 8080 port, and we can see the response as hello world. 0000 is nothing but the same local host, so let's try with the localhost colon 8080 as well. Now back to the VS code. Ctrl Z to stop running the node server, and it will come back to the command prompt. Let's try to make some changes in the message and try. Let's change hello world to hello docker. Run the code again. Now we can see the message change to hello docker. Back to the node site. Next we need to create a docker file. Go to the VS code and create the docker file in the same root directory of the project. Now copy the consolidated docker file content and paste it in our file. Next is dot docker ignore file in the same root folder of the project. Copy paste the content. Now we can build the docker image and that will create a docker image to your local PC. Hyphen T stands for tagging. You can tag your image with docker hub username and then a slash. If you don't have a Docker Hub account, you can give any name there. But all chair actors should be in lower case. Now the last dot stands for Minshong the current directory. Let's open a new terminal window. And first check your Docker version. Let's run your build command with sudo prefix. This will download all the required images to your local PC. As we mentioned node server, it will download and install if the image is not present in your local PC. Once it is installed everything, you will be able to see the images present in your PC. Next step is to run the image using the docker run command. This runs the docker and expose the internal 8080 port to 49160 port. Check the local host 8080 is not working. Because we stopped the local server it is not returning. Docker PS will show the current process status. Also we will be able to see the docker logs by typing docker container logs in the container id. Let's see the application is running on the 49160 port. Bye for now and see you on the next topic.